Good morning, Gospel Life Church. Hope you're all doing well today on this cold, chilly morning. Uh, we're going to be in Psalm 11. So if you want to join me there, we will read the psalm together. To the choir master of David, in the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted the arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. So this is a Psalm of David, again, written as David was in a troublesome time. It seems to be a theme uh, of David. And he writes during these times because he's, he's scared. Um, whole concept of somebody having <clears throat> an arrow on the bow in the darkness ready to shoot you as you're trying to walk down a path in the dark that's that's scary but David finds the perspective he needs um, in this passage and I think I don't know about you guys but I know for myself we can all use some perspective when the world seems to be going crazy and we're in a situation that is scary as, as it is today. And there's two ways that I found to find perspective in life. First way is to look at others who are worse off than you are. I don't know if it's always the best way, but sometimes it's, it's beneficial to look around and say, okay, things are bad, but what else is happening? I don't know if you guys remember, but about a month ago in the news, there was a lot of talk about the locust swarms in uh, Africa. And they're not in the news anymore. It's not because they've gone away. It's just because the news has been solely focused on the coronavirus. But in fact, those locust swarms are getting even worse. And they're afraid that they're going to overrun countries like Kenya, and Uganda, and Ethiopia. And they're not only dealing with the virus, they're dealing with these locust swarms and the only way for them to, to fight against them effectively is by getting the pesticides and airplanes to, to, to spray them. But that's all being held up because of the state of the world and the difficulty in getting shipments supplied from places and, and sent at the right time. So there's some serious trouble happening in Africa. I also was just talking to a friend who just got back from a mission trip in India just before everything shut down. And he was telling me about the people that he visited and how they really are living day to day. Almost daily, they have to go to the market to buy their food. And the markets are now closed because everyone is forced to stay in their homes. So they, they're stuck in their homes. They only had enough food for a few days. The government is trying to give everyone a ration of food. But based on your family size, it doesn't really matter. You get one bag of rice to last the week. And if you have 10 kids or one kid, you get one bag of rice. And they're struggling um, around the world. So we need to pray for those believers in those countries especially, that they would stand firm in their faith and be encouraged that God is can be their refuge, um, as he was for David. And that's the second way we can we can gain perspective. It's by understanding how good we actually have it. And that's what David realizes in this passage. He sees how we have a God who is just. And he will take care of the wickedness that is happening in this world. Um, he will put it to right. He will punish those that, that are doing evil. And for those that are righteous, he will. He loves them. He loves their righteous deeds and the upright shall behold his face. Who is the upright? 
It's those that have accepted the gift of Christ. As he drank the cup that was being poured out, even as David mentioned in, in the previous verse, um, the, the fire and, and sulfur, the scorching wind, that shall all be a portion of their cup. And it's fitting that the cup of God's wrath was that was poured out from, meant for us was, was drunk by Christ. Um, we have that privilege of celebrating that at Easter. Um, great perspective that David finds in this passage. So go today. Get some perspective on this situation. Um, do not live in fear, but live in hope in our risen Savior. Have a great day.